Hello and welcome to Martian Bean Counter. Today we're going to look at Society6 and we're going to look at some more popular artists to get some idea of the type of things that would sell. Uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to look at uh, one of the more expensive items which is the sideboard. Um, as you can see here, it's under the furniture. They call it credenzas, which is a Mexican term I believe. Um, it's quite well built and they have fairly straightforward design principles of basically two doors which have a print on them. So what we're going to look at first is uh, uh, by classic movie art um, and how they take uh, pictures of famous artists and put them on. Um, as you can see these look quite good, they're using classic artists from like, the uh, uh, Silver Ages cinema um, up until the 1980s so you've got people like Bing Crosby, uh, John Wayne, Dolly Parton um, and they actually they're quite um, the actual individual designs, as you can see here from, from the height in the corner, um, is actually quite um, reasonably popular. Um, but for the actual uh, cabinet itself, it makes the cabinet more uh, popular. <coughs> um, you can see here that they've made it slightly more artistic, but these look like they've just been pictures that have been put through Photoshop uh, to make them look like painted. I don't think the artists actually painted themselves, I might be wrong. Um, Maybe you know better, but let's have a look at some of the rest of these. Uh, most of these are quite abstract, which is quite the, the, the note for um, the usual for, for slightly six artists. Um, it's great things that they can fit on anything. So, uh, I mean, you can look at uh, this abstract flow uh, in the top, which is has 2,647 likes so far. Um, it's now one of those popular items by uh, Tim Night Sky. This design looks like it's the bulk of what they would do. Um, it goes on, on pretty much everything. Um, this is kind of one of the techniques that I use, which is take a couple of signature ideas, like the circles, the wavy lines, and adapt them in different configurations to go in multiple art prints. Um, I think for people who are buying furniture, um, buying uh, paintings, various things for their houses, they're going to want something a little bit simple. If they don't want something simple, they're going to take pictures of much of their own families. But I don't think they want anything ridiculously complicated. Um, personally, I, I actually prefer kind of classic art uh, to go on the wall. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see, see this, this, this abstract design here, it fits on anything. This is a single centralised design of some wavy lines by Night Sky. Um, but an orange geometric shape thread, I call it. Um, and it's the type of thing they put on, put on all sorts. Um, and they, they're currently the top two designs um, for purchases by people who have gone in there by the, the cabinet. This kind of look um, like an art deco piece. I think it's probably what that adds towards it. Um, this, this looks like, I've got to be honest, this looks like, uh, like some sort of small box taking a picture of it inside and put it into the artwork. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry, it looks more like it. Um, it's this looks more like a little smile maker studio. They're quite popular, they've got over 600 uh, followers so far. And they've put this on everything. Um, I'm not going to criticise the right. I mean, it, it, it's, it's very clever for what they've done, but. Um, I can't imagine everything sells in the same proportion. It would work on some things, but not on everything. I can't imagine buying a cup with that on without being a bit worried. Okay, so this is how uh, they group their collections together. Um, this is another idea you can do if you're uh, fine tuning your shop. That way, um, when somebody comes in, they can be from a few uh, networks that have gone on there, they can be directed straight to. Um, similar type of things from your shop. This is uh, how the geometric pass, um, raster mineral rawback pack um, design. Uh, the central part design, I imagine that's very popular in New York for children. Um, what else have got here? This looks like the stars, moon phase, boho, zodiac sign. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm actually thinking about trying to put something together like this myself. Um, that's minimalistic, it's fantastically proportioned by the looks of it. Um, I can imagine that would look awesome on most furniture. Um, I'm not sure about um, warm um, murals. But yeah, city, city art does some. Yeah, sorry, I'm just I'm moving off as I'm just going through everything again. Um, yeah, this is city art. This is this type of um, 
artwork you see uh, kind of at the end of the 20th century. It's very minimalistic but very colourful at the same time. Um, yeah, wow, these are really beautiful actually. Uh, again, the, the poppies look at the designs themselves, a lot of them are in thousands for likes. Um, so I'm not the only one who's, who's completely kind of taken back and said, wow, so you, you've done well with this. And then this is the simplest version I can think of. Um, come with me, look what else does this fit on? Because it's one of those things where it's a centralized design, but it's symmetrical. So does it actually fit on everything? So it doesn't work on, on the phone cases, if you look at it. It stands out a bit too much on the t-shirts, but it does look quite good otherwise. Don't think it would work very well on the awning, um, but yeah, as art prints, it works quite well. Okay, so what else have we got? Uh, this is Better Homes Art Deco. No, they a lot of theirs is, is just abstract, almost texture-like pieces. Um, love it's quite good, very pink, very. I well, stand up quite well. Quite like them. Hmm. So I like the colours. They're, they're played down a lot more. I, I tend to use very vibrant colours on my work, um, which I'll show you later if I get time. Um, if you look at this, these are it's kind of muted oranges and browns, but they work well together on a piece of furniture. Um, so it's better home. So yeah, see, it works well. Wall tapestries, curtains, cushions, uh, pastoral monstrosa. Yes, monstrosa because it's a Swiss cheese plant. If you didn't know that. Okay, so if you look at Site 6, what they've been doing, they've teamed up with Star Wars and Mandalorian to produce uh, a few extracted works. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll look at, we'll go through these and we'll look at them. Um, Curious Child Space Glow. We try to go through this very 70s kind of look which is kind of testament to, I guess, when Star Wars first came out, but I don't know if it actually is testament to the actual art design of Star Wars itself. But it's a very popular show at the moment. Um, and it does work quite well. Got some Art Nouveau pieces there. Uh, pop Art. Cutie's Bounty, I don't know. This is the way, now if you've watched the show, you know this is the way is the, uh, almost like a religious kind of phrase of the uh, Mandalorian society whenever they do anything that's kind of due to their culture, they say this is the way. Uh, this is a very kind of, I'm not sure I like the font to do with that, but I suppose it depends on kind of your personality as to how you want that on your walls. A lot of Art Nouveau on there. You can see here they've got the same design but in different colours with this retro mando and they've put an indicator there to say which colour it is. But I don't think there's a limitation in what they've put it on. They haven't put it on everything but they've put it on the more expensive items here. That actually looks really nice. I think that would look good on a child's bedroom. Uh, wallpaper does not work on the wallpaper. Maybe if you had that as a strip, as a, like a, a portion piece within a wall, maybe. That looks fantastic. That looks like a lot of the traditional illustrations I saw when I was a child in the 80s. Again, by Star Wars, so I think, that, I don't know if Star Wars is somebody's managed to get the phrase on there or if it's actually somebody representing the production company. If you know either way, put it in the comments below um, so we can let other people know. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this one, the link code, so that when you click on it, it'll go to that um, straight away for you. and. Um, Obviously, the discounts uh, will be kicking for that. Uh, sorry, I'm really distracting. Uh, it's been a long time since I've started going through other people's artwork, and then I'm starting to leave myself in hope. Okay, none smoking. Famous restored art. This is something I've been looking at recently. Public domain pictures, photos, um, illustrations, and how to put those on. Um, I suppose it depends on your sense of humour, whether this would work on everything um, and how much of it you'd actually want it in your house. It depends on big your houses, I suppose. 
works well for <laughs> works well for that. I like that on that bag. Um, very black and white though. I've scented it as well. That's something I keep forgetting to do when I'm loading stuff is to spend a good 20, 30 minutes just centering the artwork on every single item and making sure everything's well proportioned. And you compare this with my shop. And this is my shop. Um, because I've only been doing this for a month or so, you can see my colours are very bright. Uh, they're not as controlled as everybody else's, but I've got a well versed range of abstract ideas, pictures, illustrations um, from a wide kind of grouping. The only thing that, that links them all together really is the fact that my colours tend to be much more vibrant than everybody else's that I've seen so far. Um, I will give you the affiliate link for this um, as well in the description. Um, that will be for the Star Wars as well, so um, you will um, obviously be giving me uh, a cut of anything you purchase on there but hopefully you'll enjoy it nonetheless okay i'll see you for the next episode thank you